Hey, what is up, guys? Skellified here, and we're back with Season 1, Episode 21 of Demon Slayer. Um, last episode was a pretty a pretty decent one, um, after the good-ass good, a good ass ending of Episode 19. Um, we basically just had Giyu basically one-shot yet another person. Um, I believe his, the demon's name was Rui. He was, like, the head, um, lower 5, 12 Kazuki member. Um, who basically just got immediately destroyed as soon as, um, Giyu showed up. And then we had Shinobu, who's the one who came with, um... Giyu, who they are the highest ranked person in out of the rank the Hashiras um they're two of I'm pretty sure the more skilled Hashiras um and they basically just she took out um the sister there as well with her and she has a cool like poison type thing which is different than just the actual like blades which is cool there's multiple ways to kill them instead of just cutting off their heads which are pretty nice um, I don't know where we're going to start heading towards, because we are getting towards the end of the show, or at least the season. The season. Um, I know there's a movie still um, that I'm reacting to, and I believe there's a season two coming at some point, but I don't know where we're going for the next few episodes. I don't know if we're going to go back to Muzan or whatnot, but definitely excited. Um, if you guys enjoyed my reaction to Demon Slayer, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. Um, 25 and 26 will be a double upload, the finale on the 28th i believe the that week's tuesday and then the movie will be going up on thursday and we'll be starting the next show for our weekend but yeah um let's just hop right into episode 21 <laughs> nice dodge nice dodge what are we watching what, or i mean i know what we're watching why are we watching snowball fight oh that looks like um rue right Kind of if he just had white hair instead. It's interesting we're still focusing so much on Rue. Rui. Okay, so it's not just Rue. Wait, why is he not supposed to be aside? Was is he already a demon at that point, maybe? Oh damn. So being a demon really gave him the power up, huh? Oh, is this Muzan? Yeah. Wow, okay. I'm surprised he knew he, how weak he was. I would assume not. Mo most parents probably would be okay when they're um, child gets turned into a demon. Oh, so the first people were your parents, huh? Oh, damn. Oh, they try to kill him. To be fair, didn't you eat one of them? Oh, but maybe he didn't kill his parents. I wonder who is eating them. Maybe just random people in the village. I mean, they definitely don't know have the knicker and sword anyway, so they wouldn't be able to kill him no matter what. But oh damn. <laughs> now, I'm guessing they cared about you, it's just they didn't want to be living with a demon who ate humans, probably. Oh, so were they going to kill him and then kill themselves? So his whole journey is just trying to recreate those. I wonder why Muzan took so much interest into him. 
took in the whole episode just for his head to finally drop. Maybe because you didn't treat them like a real family. His whole leg's off by now. I love how he can smell every sense. It's great. Not even sense, just emotions in general. Oh, he needs to get the blood. Wait, he needs to get the blood. Doesn't he? Isn't he supposed to get the blood of them? Yo, get the blood! Oh, God, he's not gonna be... It wasn't that what he was supposed to be doing, getting blood of members to send to the two do or the doctor there? Doctor demon? And the one he did send her wasn't even a 12 Kazuki member. Oh god. They really focus on this demon a lot. More compared to like any other demon, really. It's probably just to like show that like the demons really aren't like themselves or don't really have full control over themselves. Well, Giyu and Tanjiro definitely see differently on these, on this topic. I mean, he definitely has a point. As long as he's not, like, hesitating in getting people hurt, there's no, yeah, there's no reason to not, like, not be sad, but, like, not empathize with them. Or, like, mourn or, like, grieve, I guess, for them. Although Giyu can also do whatever the fuck he wants because he fucking one-hit two demons in a row. Oh, you're just now realizing Nezuko is a demon. Wait, what? Oh, fuck. Oh. Thank God Giyu blocked that. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Wait, they're not gonna fight it, right? To, like, over Nezuko? Please? Oh, damn, that man's hair is all fucked up. That sucks. Oh, maybe turning into a spider bit would have been better than that. <laughs> they're barely, they're lowering fucking Zenitsu down. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's hard to explain. Oh, God. Is she, like, the only demon that's, like, they know is a, he like, isn't bad? Besides, I know Tanjiro knows it with the two doctor ones, but... I don't think they know of anyone but Nezuko. Damn, Giyu is really gonna fucking... They're really fighting about this? <laughs> Giyu coming in clutch! Okay! I thought he was gonna be more of a dick in the show, but okay, I like that! Oh, nice. Get her in the backpack. Oh, wait. She, he, I don't think he can shrink her. I don't- yeah, she has to shrink herself, right? 
Wait, how is she get? Oh, other people are following them. Oh, great. Ex just explain it that he she doesn't attack him. Gyu, come on, man. Come on, my boy. You got this. Damn, is Shinobu better than him? I thought Gyu was like gonna be the top tier. Dude, but okay, apparently not. Don't forget about the other one, what? Who was all- oh, the one- because there was one that was following Tandra, right? Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Why do they all look super- Oh, shit! He got her! Oh! Shit! Fuck! Just... Oh, God! Nezuko! Alright, add a girl. <laughs> add a girl! Add a girl! Come on, Nezuko! Yeah, she's different! Realize that! Yes, there is! Oh god, stop! No, stop being simple-minded, please! Oh, he, ha he has her. Okay, that's... That's better than them just being attacked and tried to kill. Thank God Giyu was able to hold her off for that long at least. His jaws? Bro, bro Tanjiro can't catch a break with injuries. Okay, cool. At least they're bringing those gay too. And they're probably gonna have Zenitsu because they have him carting off. So I think the whole squad's gonna be back together. Oh, wow. I actually realized that. What? The, what? The, wh why is Zenitsu mummified? What the fuck? Oh, I didn't even recognize her. So is she not one of the um, same rank as Giyu and them, the Hashira? Are we here? Bro has a broken jaw, relax. Oh! Wait, what they say? You're in the presence of who? Oh, of, oh, of all of them? The guy in the middle looks for- the guy with like the orange- the fiery hair, I believe, is on the cover of Mugen, the movie. So he looks familiar. I don't know who he is. I just remember he looks like he's from the um, cover of the movie. So maybe the co maybe the movie won't even have anything to do with Tanjiro, which would be interesting. But um, no, damn. Um, that was a good. It started off a little slow. They were focusing a lot on Rui, um, which I I'm I was a bit curious about because obviously he got like killed at the beginning of last episode. Um, I, I guess it's mainly just showing how like to give that like little difference between Tanjiro and Giyu of like the whole one of them. They both they both kill demons. They both know they have to kill demons, but Tandro is more knows that not the demons weren't all bad before they became demons because obviously there were humans before and the humans weren't necessarily bad or whatnot. Um, and I think that also probably played into Giyu letting 
Nezuko go, or let it, or trying to defend um, Tanjiro and Nezuko from Shinobu because he obviously like well he did remember from two years ago because they had the little flashback um, of Nezuko protecting him, but just in like general that not all of them are bad and if there is a chance of curing her that's she's probably one of the best bets of developing a cure because if you can work on her then it should probably be able to work on a decent amount of people or a decent amount of demons which would be nice for them to eventually find um because i would get rid of moves on the problem with moves on really because if, if you you can just counter every demon he turns or every person he turns into a demon not much he can do there which would be good um so I, it looks like we're going to be introduced to all the um, Hashiras in the next episode or next few episodes, which would be nice to see uh, like in the world a little bit more fleshed out, see a little bit more of um, the stronger people that are going to help us defeat all these 12 Kazuki members, hopefully. Um, I'm hoping that it's not like a situation where Nezuko and Tanjiro are like arrested. I hope it's just they brought, that was like all they were going to say just to make sure they got brought back and Nezuko wasn't like harmed or anything. Um, I'm hoping it's more of a case there where instead of like them just putting her, them in like a cell or whatever and be like, yeah, you're just going to go along with whatever we say, blah, blah, blah. I hope they have a little bit of freedom here to like do and train and do what they want kind of sort of, which hopefully is what happens. Um, Tanjiro, broken jaw, he just gets broken shit every episode. Hoping Zenetsu and Inosuke can recover somewhat soon. Hopefully Nezuko can recover all she needs really is sleep um and hopefully we can take out a few more 12 kazookis or at least one more big bad before the end of the season um i'm hoping that way we can get a nice little fight before the end i'm assuming the movie will also have a few fights in it or whatnot again don't know what the movie will be focusing on if it'll be more of um the hashiras or if it will just continue on with um tanjiro's story but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.